Well, good morning. <laughs> oh, we're talking more about the magnificent Christ today. Isn't this great? Hasn't it been a great season just talking about Jesus? I love it. The more I talk about him, the more I love him. <laughs> it's just fun, isn't it? Because beholding him, we become like him. We looked yesterday at the will of God. Jesus always did the will of God. Doing the will of God showed Jesus what to do. Secondly, Jesus always did the works of God. I want to read a verse out of John chapter 12. He says, For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me commandment what I should say and what I should do. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. I speak, therefore, whatsoever the Father has told me. And whatsoever I do, I do as the Father has shown me. So Jesus always did the Father's works. He didn't claim that they were his works. Jesus is operating under transmitted authority. So it's the works of the Father being performed through him by the power of the Holy Spirit. This gives us hope. So we can function now like Jesus functioned. Remember John chapter 20? Jesus said, just as the Father sent me, so send I you. We are sent in the very same way that the Father was, or that Jesus was. He's our pattern. Jesus is our pattern for ministry. Let's follow him. He always did the Father's will. Secondly, he always did the Father's works. Regardless of how ridiculous they sounded, Jesus might be walking along and the Father would say, spit on the ground, make Mud balls. <laughs> they become eyeballs. You know, re Jesus learned to immediately obey. I always say, listen, the most often used word in the book of Luke is the word immediately. You know that Jesus 40 times immediately in the book of Luke, 40 times it says Jesus immediately. Jesus immediately. Jesus immediately. So the key to evangelism and the key to moving in authority is learning to immediately hear the voice of God and obey it, regardless of how ridiculous it sounds. So Jesus obeyed the voice of the Father, knew the will of the Father. Because he knew the will of the Father, he knew what to do. And then he did the works of the Father, which were not his own. It was the Father working through him. So Jesus shows us the pattern for ministry. God bless you as you desire to move with the same power and anointing that Jesus had. We've been studying these weeks now about how Jesus received the anointing, conquered, abiding, agreement into the anointing, and then after the anointing, how he moved in authority. Well, this is a great study, and it's going to change your life. God bless you as you go out in his name today. Have a wonderful day.